think the bringing the public and private sectors together in the, in the community facilitation process is absolutely essential to uh, success. Uh, I think uh, too often has been the case that uh, in the public sector, and I know from my own experience in the public sector, that they have planned uh, for emergency situations without regard for what the private sector may have been doing. In the private sector, uh, we made it a, a requirement for our incident command teams to invite the public sectors from their respective communities in to participate with them in the tabletop exercises that we conducted on an annual basis. For the most part, I would think a, a chief uh, of any major uh, police or fire department would have enough authority on their own to, to initiate this kind, of, uh, this kind of process. And I think it's different in the private sector. Uh, I think there you, you have to get the lead of, uh, or you have to get the support of top management. And top management's eye is not always geared on, on uh, crisis management. These exercises can be done uh, without the cooperative uh, public and private sector element, but I think it, it's worked best if you do involve, involve them. Sure, private companies, that's uh, one of the things I found when I went to the private sector from the public sector. I was amazed at, at the uh, broad range of, of expertise that I found in, in a large organization, a manufacturing organization. And uh, that kind of expertise, uh, whether it's in engineering or, or uh, facility management uh, or large equipment handling and things of that nature, uh, could be very helpful to, an, to another uh, uh, business that, that's impacted in, in a critical incident.